Yeah, Marcus, the Aztecs had every reason to fold in this game. They were facing an opponent on short notice. They had multiple players in health and safety protocols, and they hadn't played a game in a week. All they did, though, was hold a top 20 team to less than 50 points. I think it's just our culture. We just say from day one when you get here, you're going to defend and rebound if you're going to play at San Diego State. That's it. You have to defend and rebound. And then we don't use being shorthanded as an excuse. We knew uh, we were counted out in this game, and we trusted each other, and we, we counted on each other, and we stepped in the game and competed. So I'm really happy for our guys. We compete at a high level today, um, regardless of, of who was out, and, and we can't wait to have them back. But, uh, you know, we got to keep going on. We're not going to get too high or too low. We're going to stay the course. Both teams are good. It was competitive for a large part of the game. And then we just kind of got on a run. The crowd got behind us at the end, and we pushed the lead up. But uh, in no way, shape, or form do I think I'm going to have that kind of game next time I see him. Our atmosphere was awesome. They, they really got us going. When it was close, um, uh, we started going on the run, and they just, you know, uh, they, they got loud, and they gave us more energy to just, you know, keep locking in defensively. And for the Aztecs, this was the largest win ever over an AP Top 25 team in school history. Up next, a tough road test in Laramie against the Cowboys. I'm Jake Ariani from Viejas Arena. Marcus, let's go ahead and send it back to you.